people, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Belfast. And we're actually at the mouth here of the Craiga Estate. And you can see there it says, Welcome to Craiga. And of course, this estate has a big connection with the famous footballer, Geordie Best, who played for Manchester United and Northern Ireland. Because he would have kicked ball with his mates here. And he was also in the local football team. And uh, I've done a few videos today on George. I covered his grave. And I've also covered the house that he lived in. And I've also covered a mural. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you down here. And we're going to have a wee read of a billboard. Which gives us a wee bit more information concerning uh, George and it's this billboard here as you can see it says Craiga Road and so this is the billboard here Craiga Road and it says home of a legend in January 1949 Dickie and Anne Best and their young family moved into a new home on the Craiga estate their son George 1946 to 2005 was to become one of the world's greatest football players. And uh, there's a photograph there. George is in the middle. So it says, Craig a Boys Club. Craig a Playing Fields, 1958. George is centre of the bottom row of players, which would be there. So that's George as a, as a boy. In the Craig a Boys Football Club which would have been over there, I would assume, on those playing fields that I filmed earlier. And uh, it says here, a football phenomenon. George Best used to live at 16 Burren Way. As a boy, he played games of football on the pitches at the centre of Craig Estate. And I filmed that, those earlier with his friends and teammates in Craig, a foot, in Craig a Boys Club. Spotted by the Manchester United scout, Bob Bishop, he went on to make 490 appearances for Manchester United and won 39 caps for Northern Ireland. And then it's also the home of Ulster Rugby. Um, that's the, the stadium at Raven Hill Park. And uh, it also says their design of the Times. It was built by the Northern Ireland Housing Trust. Craigie Estate was constructed between 1945 and 1950 and has remained largely intact to this day. The aim was to create a suburban community and so the estate had its own primary school as well as community buildings and shops and of course the shops as you can see are still there. The severe shortage of building materials following World War II meant that most of the estate's 942 dwellings were built with flat concrete roofs and bricks were only used for the outside walls. And then it says a room with a view. The estate is also the site of the first multi-storey apartment blocks to be built in Northern Ireland, as you can see. Completed in 1961, Willowbrook House and Woodstock House stand 11 storeys, 30 metres high, with 44 flats each. I wouldn't fancy living in them, especially at the top, I have to say. At the time, they incorporated such initiative features as underfloor electric heating and high-speed lifts. So there's George there. Uh, it says, George at the family home in the Craigie Estate, 1960. Six and of course I uh, photograph or I done a video there and also photographed the house and uh, so you can see him there with the, with the kids and then it says there the Irish Football Association logo at Bells Bridge Roundabout so there you go so thanks for watching and God bless